Gary Clark, whose nom de plume was Danny Wilson in the 1980s, wrote that song, Mary's Prayer from There's Something About Mary, that movie. The opening credits is this beautiful 80s song. He's a fantastic songwriter, and I rang him up out of the blue because I love that song and that film. And I said, I'm making this film. I made this film once, and he had seen once, and he said, like, I'm in. And he wrote some fabulous songs for the film. you're not in school? I'm a model. Well, do you want to be in a video for my band? See, so if you're in a band, sing me a song. Take on me. Oh, it's, a, it's a coming of age film set in the 80s about a boy who kind of um, moves out of his comfortable school life and, and goes into an inner city school and starts a band to impress a girl and that's pretty much the whole story. <laughs> I was always into music as a kid, and then I kind of segued into film. I kind of always thought that old movies that I loved, that the music sequences were so great, they were so married, you know, like a good film musically. It seems like the two things are continuous. So when I started making films, I just, they naturally seemed to have, you know, a lot of songs and use of music in them, and, and then obviously with Once, I kind of went full music. I wrote the lion's share of the music, yeah. isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, Jack. Jack brought, Jack, Jack made the set a great place to be because every day he would come with his Bluetooth speaker, his iPhone, and a library of Steely Dan music. Oh, every Steely Dan track so that exists. The second that happened, it was like, here's a guy who loves Steely Dan and is not afraid to admit it. Jesus, what are you all wearing? Yeah, we're just working that out. It's just an incredibly feel-good film. I mean, it's so rich and layered in the sense that there's so much more to it than just this uplifting message and I mean all the music is fantastic but yeah all the characters have so much more to them and they're so complete and rounded and bloody good. You'd play every instrument on my coin. Probably. Sure. The first day everyone's kind of gelled together, everyone's yeah. got along really well. It was it was quite strange really. Like we all just kinda got it was like a fun experience. It was like a light, good time in all of our lives. It wasn't like a profoundly deep, meaningful, you know, like one of those, but we all had an absolutely fantastic time, dude, and we all loved working with each other. It was a blast. I've known John for years and you know, like Ferdy and Mark and Lucy and the rest of the cast, all very easy, easygoing people, just fun to be around and the energy on the film was I mean, it was very different to anything I've done before in a lot of ways, you know, and the fact that it was at home and we were all in our comfort zone with that and, you know, it just felt very loose and very free and that was brilliant. Let your